So Echo is the adoptive daughter of Kingpin. We saw her last time in that Hawkeye's miniseries on Disney Plus. I was kind of surprised when I heard the announcement that she was going to get her own Disney Plus series. I'm not too familiar with Echo as a character. Like, I know that this is going to probably lead into the Daredevil mythos, so I'm excited for that. Echo, I'm excited to learn more about this character and herself. Looking at her Wikipedia, just a basic rundown of her powers. Martial artist, highly skilled acrobatics, gifted pianist. I mean, man, she got the... It also said here that she had the Phoenix Force at one point. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with the character, but you guys, man, you guys know so fucking much when it comes to this shit. I don't mean that as a diss, bro. I know a lot of YouTubers will get mad if people are like, oh, why are you spamming the uh, comments about this? I know about this. No, bro, please tell me everything that you know. If there's something we should check out about this character, bro, let us know. I want this to be an area where we can all learn together. It's a safe space, y'all. It's a safe space. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the trailer. This is going to be the new Marvel Disney Plus series, Echo. Oh, okay, look like a little boarding school. Maya. I see everything that you are. Oh, shit. King oh, did not take this shit. Like, what's up, bro? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Woo! Don't fuck with Wilson Fisk or his kid. Yes! Feed his ass some more. Woo! Don't be afraid. Damn, she through the wall. Kind of giving me the boys vibe. I have so much pain in you. 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 So much rage. That you can't contain it. Roll the ring. January 10th. Hulu and Disney Plus, man. Ooh. So, I mean, let's start off with the beginning. I'm assuming this is like the first real meeting and the first real time where he goes, I'm going to start taking care of you. Seeing how she's getting treated horribly, by the way, by this fucking asshole, bro. The dude over here mocking her. What kind of jackass must you be to mock a kid? who's speaking in sign language. That's some fucked up stuff. So yeah, I mean, I think he deserved to get his ass whooped. I also love when every time he punched them, it was the whoop, whoop, whoop. It was real Black Panther-esque. Like, I mean, that's what it kind of gives me vibes of, the old. This is the very beginning because this is when she first sees him whoop that ass and he goes, don't be afraid. He wants her to learn this and this does end up becoming her life. He groomed her to become this. He created this. So then we start to get this voiceover from Wilson Fisk talking about how mad she is, how much rage she has in her. And I mean, rightfully so. I mean, as we can see, you're getting bullied as a child. I mean, she's exposed to this fucked up life and everything like that. Her dad is dead. Yeah, I would be pissed off too. So then there's uh, this whole overarching scene where it seems like she pulls up to this roller rink. Someone's held captive. It looks like there's a girl there. I don't know who these people are and like why she cares about them or it looks like they holding somebody hostage and she finna have to go save the day. I don't know what the fuck is happening at this tree. Is that even her? I can't tell if that's her or maybe this is her mom. And I guess that's why it kind of has that, you know, the kind of world sounding drums 
roots to it and everything like that because we're gonna see a little bit of her heritage i mean you can see kind of pieces of it in this trailer itself so i think we're gonna get like into her roots as well wait is that fucking daredevil hold on time the fuck out oh shit that is fucking Daredevil. <laughs> okay, so Daredevil's gonna be in this shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's lit. Okay, so we're gonna get Daredevil in this, apparently. But I'm excited to see where Alako Koch takes this character. She's gonna have to come to terms with the fact that the man that killed her father became her father figure. Now there's pieces of her that are just him now. That is just Wilson Fisk. The way he beats that dude to the ground and she's beaten in time with him, that's her now. She's part of him and he's part of her. She has to accept that. Or I mean, I don't guess don't. Now we're gonna see uh, where this revenge is gonna take her and apparently that revenge is so badass. They said, hey, we're gonna make a fucking show about it. If anybody can make you care about characters that never have been heard about before marvel can do that i mean i look at guardians of the galaxy all the time as one of those characters that no one knew about but people ended up loving it i mean they do it all the fucking times they know how to make a character great so i mean i just want to see it done with this one i mean it's like not the first deaf mcu marvel character because there was the uh eternals character as well as i is it the first uh native american hero I'm trying to think if there's been another Native American hero. The lit part about this is it's a nice grounded series, you know, where Marvel has this whole larger than life kind of series with Loki. It would be nice to go back to something just simple, smooth, back to earth kind of story. So that way we could just have something fun, you know, have some badass chick just beat the fuck out of some people. But what do you guys think, man? Are you excited for this new Echo series, man? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe, bro. Man, y'all are killing it with the subscribes, man. I ain't got to tell y'all no more. Y'all just don't do it, bro. Y'all just don't do it because y'all got me. And I got you, man. I love y'all. Peace, love. Later.